I meant to do that. How's it going, guys? My name is Stray Hydra Blah Blah Blah. Stray Hot. Stray Hydra Blah. Stray Hydra Blah. And today we're gonna learn how to build a Cubiton. So the first thing I did was cut up a single milk jug to use for the Cubiton. Doesn't really need a lot. Uh, it's actually pretty small, so it, it's actually a really easy build. Then I put it in the oven at about 330 degrees Fahrenheit, I think it was. The pipe that I used was a half inch pipe that fit inside another piece of PVC. I have no idea what size that other piece of PVC was. Um, I just know that it fit very snugly with the half inch. So, and I, I wanted it to be about half inch uh, handle, so that was pretty much the perfect size. So what I had to do first was roll the milk jug plastic in between my hands to be able to fit it in the pipe. If it's not skinny enough to be gravity fed into the pipe, it's going to clog up and you won't be able to push it in and you'll just have to take it back out and put it in the oven and try again. After I got it inside of the pipe, the weight of me just pressing down on it was enough to make it so that it would actually press into the mold. So after I pressed it all into the mold, I just put it in a tub of water and started spinning it to try to make it so that the surface area of the pipe would be sufficiently cooled down. It's, it's basically needed to be so that the pipe wouldn't try to heat up from the temperature of the milk jug plastic and just bend and deform the entire thing. Then once I took it out of the water, I just popped it out of the mold uh, very slowly, I might add, and uh, it turned out pretty good. Once I took it out of the mold, I cut the ends of it off just to make it more profile and the length that I needed it to be. I was trying to figure out a way to make the little notches on it. The best way that I found to do this was just to make it so that your saw can only go down a certain amount. And then once you have that, just mark out where you want the cut to be and clamp a piece of wood down to the base of the saw so that you will be able to rotate the piece up against that piece of wood so you get an even cut all the way around the coupeton. After that, I just drilled a hole into the coupeton end and put a key ring on it. What do you see as you twist the tie? 
went well. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the Kubaton. I'll talk to you later. Bye.